Hi friends, welcome to our channel. Today we are learning about roses and how important rose flower to our lives. So let's just jump into the video. A rose is a woody perennial flowering plant of the genus Rosa, in the family Rosaceae, or the flower it bears. There are over 300 species and tens of thousands of cultivars. They form a group of plants that can be erect shrubs, climbing, or trailing, with stems that are often armed with sharp prickles. Flowers vary in size and shape and are usually large and showy, in colors ranging from white through yellows and reds. Most species are native to Asia, with smaller numbers native to Europe, North America, and Northwestern Africa. Species, cultivars, and hybrids are all widely grown for their beauty and often are fragrant. Roses have acquired cultural significance in many societies. Rose plants range in size from compact, miniature roses, to climbers that can reach 7 meters in height. Different species hybridize easily and this has been used in the development of the wide range of garden roses. Uses 1. Ornamental plants The majority of ornamental roses are hybrids that were bred for their flowers. A few, mostly species roses are grown for attractive or scented foliage, ornamental thorns, or for their showy fruit. Ornamental roses have been cultivated for millennia with the earliest known cultivation known to date from at least 500 BC in Mediterranean countries, Persia, and China. It is estimated that 30 to 35,000 rose hybrids and cultivars have been bred and selected for garden use as flowering plants. Most are double flowered with many or all of the stamens having morphed into additional petals. In the early 19th century the Empress Josephine of France patronized the development of rose breeding at her gardens at Malmaison. As long ago as 1840 a collection numbering over 1000 different cultivars, varieties, and species was possible when a rosarium was planted by Lodige's nursery for Abney Park Cemetery, an early Victorian garden cemetery and arboretum in England. 2. Cut Flowers Roses are a popular crop for both domestic and commercial cut flowers. Generally they are harvested and cut when in bud and held in refrigerated conditions until ready for display at their point of sale. In temperate climates, cut roses are often grown in greenhouses, and in warmer countries they may also be grown under cover in order to ensure that the flowers are not damaged by weather and that pest and disease control can be carried out effectively. Significant quantities are grown in some tropical countries, and these are shipped by air to markets across the world. Some kind of roses are artificially colored using dyed water, like rainbow roses. 3. Perfume Rose perfumes are made from rose oil, which is a mixture of volatile essential oils obtained by steam distilling the crushed petals of roses. An associated product is rose water which is used for cooking, cosmetics, medicine, and religious practices. The production technique originated in Persia and then spread through Arabia and India and more recently into Eastern Europe. In Bulgaria, Iran, and Germany, damask roses are used. In other parts of the world Rosa centifolia is commonly used. The oil is transparent pale yellow or yellow-gray in color. Rose absolute is solvent extracted with hexane and produces a darker oil, dark yellow to orange in color. The weight of oil extracted is about 1 3,000th to 1 6,000th of the weight of the flowers, for example, about 2,000 flowers are required to produce 1 gram of oil. The main constituents of attar of roses are the fragrant alcohols geraniol and L-citronellol and rose camphor, an odorless solid composed of alkanes, which separates from rose oil. Beta damascinone is also a significant contributor to the scent. 4. Food and Drink Rose hips are occasionally made into jam, jelly, marmalade, and soup or are brewed for tea, primarily for their high vitamin C content. They are also pressed and filtered to make rose hip syrup. Rose hips are also used to produce rose hip seed oil, which is used in skin products and some makeup products. Rose water has a very distinctive flavor and is used in Middle Eastern, Persian, and South Asian cuisine especially in sweets such as Turkish Delight, Barfi, 
baklava, halva, gulab jamun, kanafi, and nougat. Rose petals or flower buds are sometimes used to flavor ordinary tea, or combined with other herbs to make herbal teas. A sweet preserve of rose petals called gukand is common in the Indian subcontinent. In France, there is much use of rose syrup, most commonly made from an extract of rose petals. In the Indian subcontinent, ruafza, a concentrated squash made with roses, is popular, as are rose-flavored frozen desserts such as ice cream and cool fi. Rose flowers are used as food, also usually as flavoring or to add their scent to food. Other minor uses include candied rose petals. Rose creams are a traditional English confectionery widely available from numerous producers in the UK. Under the American Federal Food, Drug and Cosmetic Act, there are only certain roses species, varieties and parts are listed as generally recognized as safe. Rose Absolute Rose Ditto Rose Buds Rose Flowers Rose Fruit Rose Leaves 5. Medicine The rose hip, usually from Arcanina, is used as a minor source of vitamin C. The fruits of many species have significant levels of vitamins and have been used as a food supplement. Many roses have been used in herbal and folk medicines. Rosa chinensis has long been used in Chinese traditional medicine. This and other species have been used for stomach problems, and are being investigated for controlling cancer growth. In pre-modern medicine, diarodon is a name given to various compounds in which red roses are an ingredient. 6. Art and Symbolism The long cultural history of the rose has led to it being used often as a symbol. In ancient Greece, the rose was closely associated with the goddess Aphrodite. In the Iliad, Aphrodite protects the body of Hector using the immortal oil of the rose and the archaic Greek lyric poet Ibicus praises a beautiful youth saying that Aphrodite nursed him among rose blossoms. The 2nd century AD Greek travel writer Pausanias associates the rose with the story of Adonis and states that the rose is red because Aphrodite wounded herself on one of its thorns and stained the flower red with her blood. Book 11 of the ancient Roman novel The Golden Ass by Apuleius contains a scene in which the goddess Isis, who is identified with Venus, instructs the main character, Lucius, who has been transformed into a donkey, to eat rose petals from a crown of roses worn by a priest as part of a religious procession in order to regain his humanity. Following the Christianization of the Roman Empire, the rose became identified with the Virgin Mary the color of the rose and the number of roses received has symbolic representation. The rose symbol eventually led to the creation of the rosary and other devotional prayers in Christianity. Ever since the 1400s, the Franciscans have had a crown rosary of the seven joys of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the 1400s and 1500s, the Carthusians promoted the idea of sacred mysteries associated with the rose symbol and rose gardens. Albrecht Dürer's painting The Feast of the Rosary, 1506, depicts the Virgin Mary distributing garlands of roses to her worshippers. Roses symbolized the houses of York and Lancaster in a conflict known as the Wars of the Roses. Roses are a favored subject in art and appear in portraits, illustrations, on stamps, as ornaments, or as architectural elements. The Luxembourg-born Belgian artist and botanist Pierre-Joseph Redoute is known for his detailed watercolors of flowers, particularly roses. Henri Fantin Latour was also a prolific painter of still life particularly flowers including roses. The rose Fantin Latour was named after the artist. Other impressionists including Claude Monet, Paul Cezanne and Pierre-Auguste Renoir have paintings of roses among their works. In 1986 President Ronald Reagan signed legislation to make the rose the floral emblem of the United States. Hope you learned something today. Before you leave this video please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe, and share this video with your friends. We will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.